Hello and welcome to this new video from the 5 Minute Exam English Channel. I've got a challenge for all English students. Can you correct all of these sentences on the screen? Before you start the challenge, let me explain something. I'm an English teacher and an examiner, and I can tell you that the mistakes presented in these sentences are very common. Sometimes even advanced students make them. By the way, most of these sentences have a grammar or vocabulary mistake. However, one of the sentences has a punctuation problem. In 20 seconds, I'm going to show you the answers. So I recommend that you pause the video soon. Give yourself a maximum of 10 minutes for this challenge. How many mistakes did you fix? Why not write and tell us? Now I'm going to spend a couple of minutes talking about these sentences. Hard and hardly are two very different words. Have a look at these examples of how to use hardly. If you don't use the preposition here after prepared, it sounds like you created the exam yourself. Remember, when you study to pass an exam, you have to say prepare for, not just prepare. This is a very common mistake, but I'm sure that most people watching this video can correct it. Advice is an uncountable noun. It must be in singular, not plural. However, you can use this phrase pieces of advice. Sporty is the right word, not sportive. Next we have I agree, not I'm agree. When we're giving examples of something, we must use this pair of words, not just as. This is the sentence which has a punctuation mistake. In the English-speaking world, we use a comma here, not a dot. And yes, the euro symbol must come before the number. When it comes to question 9, we should use have difficulty, not have difficult. According to me is not a phrase that uh, English speakers use. Instead of saying according to me, uh, you should say for example in my opinion or a similar phrase. Next we have spend money on, not spend money for. This is a common mistake among Spanish speakers. The word people is a plural word, so we use are instead of is. Some people use about after the verb study, but it's not necessary and we shouldn't use it. In this moment is a mistake typically made by speakers of Romance languages such as Italian and Portuguese. It's a phrase that English speakers don't typically use. Finally, we have a very common mistake. The present perfect should be used here to talk about this friendship that started two years ago and continues until now. So, I've now come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned from some of these mistakes. And I should say at this point that when I speak foreign languages, I make mistakes as well. Very bad mistakes sometimes. But it's important that we learn from mistakes, of course. Thank you for watching.